Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Friday the 26th of July 2019. This is for the collective, it is for all signs. I'm pulling from the Goddess Oracle and we have quiet time coming up here. I'll read that in just a moment. I'm also pulling from your spirit, Animal Spirit Guides Oracle and I will be using messages from your angels as well. I will be doing today's tarot reading with the Gilded Tarot and at the end of your reading I will be pulling an Angels of the Light Oracle for you as well. We have Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. What do we need to know today? All right. We have Aurora here. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Beautiful. I love that. Thank you, Spirit. Friday the 26th. All right. What do we need to know today, Spirit? Friday the 26th. Thank you. We are ready. All right. We have the Ace of Swords. Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, All right, Judgment, Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, All right, and the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Okay. So we have two tens here. Ten ten may mean something very significant to some of you. Also, we have two eight, so eighty eight as well. All right. Let's take a look at your major energies right here. Now, we have quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. May have to do with uh, what's going on right here. I love these colors, and I feel like they're matching as well. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend, because others will soon become inspired by your example. So that's a very powerful message right there. And it's very positive. Um, if people do get jealous, oh, you know, because you are uh, really pushing forward and having achievements and accomplishment in your life, um, just keep going for it, you guys. You know, more power to you. Um, and I also feel spirit is saying here for those of you, don't feel bad. Or maybe you feel like you're leaving people behind because you are flying high right now and you have a lot of accomplishments. People will, you know, it it helps others to see someone doing good, knowing that, you know, if they, you know, we all have our own will and it's up to us to decide what we want to achieve. So be a good example and just keep going. You know, don't be, don't feel sorry or bad because you're doing well in your life and maybe others around you aren't that's their choice always remember that so look at the big picture and you know just be a beacon for others because once they decide to take control over their life and their will and get in the driver's seat then they can fly high as well spirit wants you to know that love is all around you so, very powerful message right there. I feel like your angels, your spirit guides, uh, spirit, they are with you. Even your past loved ones that 
are on the other side are with you and always remember at any given time speak your intentions out loud or if you want to talk to them receive messages from them let them know this so they can start working behind the scenes and getting messages to you so if you people do like offend you in any type of way take a step back maybe collect yourself uh, this is going to be a day I feel like that it's going to be important that you ground yourself as well now we have the ace of swords here clarified by judgment this is a new beginning and clarity uh, this is all about what's truth what's right what's honest and just for you you are holding that sword of truth here and you're ready to cut away anything that is not just right for you okay now what's interesting is judgment is clarifying the ace of swords and this is beautiful this is all about you going through this major transformation having clarity now knowing where you're going um, just moving in the right direction and this is telling me that you're transitioning you're having a new perception a new way of looking at things uh, about where you're going this is like the rite of passage as well second chances so very positive and very clear now we have the seven of cups clarified by the eight of wands the seven of cups spirit is telling me in this reading right here uh, you have many opportunities available to you uh, at this time um, it may be a little overwhelming at times because you may there may be many different ways you might be considering going about whatever your goal is and it's going to be all right spirit wants you to know it doesn't matter what you choose uh you're going to make it yours all right it's your time to succeed now now with the eight of wands clarifying the seven of cups these two energies uh both represent you know having many options all right and this is telling me that you're rushing ahead you're taking action on whatever is coming in here this could be news this could be messages phone calls whatever you put out it's coming back in a positive way here for you so i mean i'm just i'm getting for some of you this could be you know phone call or emails coming in about all of these applications you know you may have several uh, career opportunities here to choose from so I, I just think it, it's awesome you know congratulations to all of you that are flying high right now uh, it's an amazing uh, feeling I know it is for you and I'm very excited for you because you have beautiful cards here uh, you have the eight of pentacles clarified by the ten of wands so most definitely you're very diligent you're, you're very disciplined well knowledge about what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis you're highly skilled this is almost at the point of mastery right here okay some of you may even be getting your master's degree some of you may be going back to school uh maybe gaining uh, a little bit more knowledge in the area that you are so highly skilled in but this is a long lasting energy something that's going to help you for years to come especially when it comes to your finances now we have the ten of wands here and the ten of wands oftentimes represent this is a completion of this energy of carrying a heavy load or burden um it's it's done it's time to drop this heavy load drop this heavy burden and start again with the ace of wands which is all about a new beginning and a creative vision um, having a fresh start and i feel like that's what's going on here and i feel like it could be causing some conflicting interests or disagreements between you and others whether it's co-workers or family um, I feel like you have amazing opportunities here. It could take you away to another state, another town. Um, and people may not be agreeing with that. It's, you know, uh, because we have the Five of Swords here. And this is all about disagreements. 
uh, arguing, conflicting interests here. And you know, it says you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So whatever this energy is for you in your situation, don't back down. Do what's best. Do what's right for you. Know that love is all around you from the spirit side, uh, from your angels, from your spirit guides. And there may be a need to maybe take a step back today if, if this energy right here arises to just get a little bit of rest to clear your mind, a little bit of meditation and contemplation time. Because uh, oftentimes when people act out, they're wanting you to, uh, you know, get on their energy level, which when they're acting out like this and arguing and disagreeing, it's, you know, vibrating, on, they're vibrating on a lower level. So it's kind of like pick and choose your battles wisely, but I also want you guys to do what's best and right for you. If you need to speak a truth, then by all means, speak it. Because this is what you're moving into. This is what you're headed for. And this is beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. All right? So you could have people jealous of what it is that you're working towards or what's being offered to you. All right? Because what's being offered to you is this Ten of Pentacles here. This is the good life. This is good wealth, good health, stability, security. This represents traditional family values. This is just a beautiful energy. So with the Five of Swords, you know, being up here and this clarifying it, this is what others are jealous of. But what they don't understand, we are all capable of having this energy in our lives. But you have to be willing to put in the hard work and the effort. And that's exactly what you've been doing with this Eight of Pentacles. You've been working hard. I mean, wow, this is just a beautiful reading. I'm just, give me just a moment. I'm looking here. Spirit keeps telling me to reminding me to remind you that love is all around you. Even if you feel like you don't have anybody here in this earthly world, you have all kinds of light beings around you in the spirit realm, okay? Beautiful, you guys. Take time to meditate, whatever it is that you need to do to uh, collect your thoughts, maybe if it has to do with this argument or jealousy, whatever this energy is. Remember to keep flying high. Don't let anybody try to pull you down to a negative level that they're on. Even if it's somebody you love or you truly cherish, a, a best friend or somebody you've known your, all, all your life or family, and they're jealous of you, you know, don't let that get the best of you and what you're doing right now in your life because you are soaring high. You have clarity about where you're going and you are ready. You're ready for this judgment energy to just transition into this new beginning. You've worked hard and earned all these opportunities and options that are here. So you deserve it. You know, and here it is coming in, you know, this news, and it's something you're so excited about. There's a lot of enthusiasm here. Um, just amazing at how skilled you are. Um, like I said, you're at the point of almost mastery, you know, and it's going to allow for you to move on and to fly up and drop some heavy burdens, heavy loads, because you're moving on up. People are going to be jealous, but that's all right. Let them be jealous. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's up to each and every one of us how we want to use our time and our energy to better our lives. I am so sorry. I had to get a drink. This Ten of Pentacles is just amazing. You went from the Eight 
to the 10 here. Whatever you're working towards is going to bring about stability and security in your life. <coughs> Excuse me. I am so sorry, you guys. I am trying to lose my voice to make me some tea. This is a very, oh my goodness, in power. This is a very positive reading right here. Spirit so has your back right now, you guys. Power, you are reminded that your essence is divine. So let no one diminish you. What was we just talking about? Further confirmation, I love it. When you feel totally serene and at peace, you are powerful. For no one can upset or influence you. See? That's why there may be a need to get some quiet time. Your angel guidance is to find your still, quiet center, then heal your anger, purify your emotions, rely on your own judgment, and take your own decisions. It serves your spiritual growth to take responsibility for your life. So stand on your own feet and be strong. True power is based on inner strength, self-worth, and confidence. Claim your power today. The affirmation for this card is, I am serene, powerful, and confident. Yes, you are. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited for you. Keep flying high. All right, you guys, I love you. I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for being with me each and every day. You're truly a blessing to me. I wish you the best of luck. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.